Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions you have related to electrical, fire, and life safety. With easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. A common portable fire extinguisher question we get here at NFPA is, what do the numbers and letters on a portable fire extinguisher mean? Well, with the help of the 2022 edition of NFPA 10, the standard for portable fire extinguishers, let's see if we can get our answer. So this brings us to the table of contents, and let's go down to chapter 5, selection of portable fire extinguishers. Clicking on that, we can go down to 5.2, classification of fires. Now we can see that there are different classes of fires based on what is currently on fire. So the rating a portable fire extinguisher receives is based on the type of fire that it's able to be used against safely. So let's start running through the types of fires. We have class A fires, which are fires that involve ordinary combustible materials such as wood, cloth, paper, rubber, and many plastics. This is probably gonna be the most common types of fire you might run into. Then we have class B fires, Class B fires are fires that involve flammable liquids, combustible liquids, and flammable gases. Both Class A and Class B ratings on fire extinguishers will always come with a number associated with them. That number directly correlates to the fire extinguishing potential that extinguisher has. So the higher the number, the better it is at extinguishing larger fires of either ordinary combustibles or flammable liquids. That then leads us to Class C fires are fires that involve energized electrical equipment. So if you see a Class C rating, that extinguisher is okay to be used on energized electrical equipment. Class D fires are fires that involve combustible metals. This is something like magnesium, titanium, zirconium, sodium, lithium, and potassium. These are much rarer. You might only see these in manufacturing facilities or something along those lines. Class K fires are fires that involve cooking appliances that have combustible cooking media, such as vegetable oil, animal oils, animal fats, and things like that. So hopefully this helped answer your question, what do the numbers and letters on portable fire extinguishers mean? We hope that provides some insight into the classifications of fire from NFPA 10. For more information on how NFPA Link gives you the knowledge you need to get the job done right, visit nfpa.org slash link.